Hi, I'm Kyle Kaivala, producer at Recall Games, and I'm here to tell you a bit about Richard and how we made the first Unity 3D title on PlayStation 3. So, this is my friend John Richard, our protagonist. As you can see, he's no space marine. In fact, he's an astro miner. We figured there are enough companies making awesome space marine games, so we went another route. He's a bit on the well-fed side and even features, um, would you believe it, a stomach bone. Anyway, the reason we at Recall Games love Unity is how great the editor is for prototyping and iterating gameplay. We were able to nail down our two main mechanics really early in development. The first one was low gravity. By pressing a button, the player can turn off the artificial gravity of the asteroid, which allows for huge jumps. The second mechanic was the geolifter, John's everyday mining tool, which we can use to grab objects. Being able to implement these mechanics really early in development allowed us to layer gameplay at a rapid pace. For example, combining these two mechanics, you perform what we call a recoil jump. The designers really went wild well with the editor. Here's a little example of a puzzle using G Lifter. The cool thing I as a producer love about Unity is how it empowers designers. If they wanted a space basketball court, not that we have one in the game, they could just implement it themselves. A coder would just come along, check out that the code is right, and submit it from the designer's machine. Let's talk a bit about creating environments. Here's some dynamic lights on lamps that we put together. And on the foreground, you'll see some fog sheets we did and a simple depth of field layer. We also made our own matcap solution, so that even in dark places, John remains properly illuminated. In the flashlight cone, you'll see some particles. Here's a fun place our designer put together for this demo. Creating functionality is super easy. Now just stop, press the switch here, the guy in the background gets it. Plume of smoke here. Unity's inbuilt animation tool was also really useful for us. This animation was built by a level designer, not our animator. It's really useful for either first pass animations or final quality, depending on what you're doing. Let's break some of the glass here, and down they come. And once again without disco lights. Okay, here we get to meet Skylar, our leading lady. We always knew we'd have limited time to make our cutscenes, so we picked up a head tracking solution from Unity midway through development and ended up saving precious animation time there. And here's one of our enemies. Not too bright, just the way we like them. Our hero does have a gun, but early on in development we found what players really want to do is this. There we go. Once again, we iterate on these core features early on and we're able to mix and match to find all kinds of fun things to do with the existing gameplay elements that we have put together. Here's a more typical, fully propped environment from the game. The Beast Life Mapping solution really helped bring the environments alive. Oh, this is a fun place. One of our designers had the idea of having a big mining laser, so one of our programmers implemented it. Because Unity is component paste though, the fun didn't stop there. The designer felt that we could get more mileage out of this puppy, so he added a spring joint component to the laser, and voila! Instant progression puzzle. A little bonus feature we got from Unity's collision layers was these force fields. So, red force fields allow objects to pass through, but not humans. Blue ones, vice versa. And this guy here is an energy force field. Weapons fire can't pass through and I'm the one with the G-lifter, so sucks to be them. We're nearing the end of the demo here, and let's just do a bit more combat. There we go. And we can call the elevator or skip it all together. And we're home. We end the demo at John's trusty spaceship. Thank you for listening and don't forget to check out Unity 3D and Rochard. This is Kalle Kaivola, signing off.